<laughs> okay, Council. So, Council, yeah, today's party. topic, we yeah. are talking about balancing logic and emotions yeah. in relationships. Yeah. Yeah. And we mentioned some scenarios earlier. We've heard news of um, a man, Ghanaian man in Columbus, who shot his wife and later on turned the gun at himself and shot himself. But then at the time that the news was being reported, the wife hadn't died, but he was gone. He was already man, man will always die first. M man will always <laughs> die first. Yes, our, our anatomy takes her closer to our grave. That's why in an accident situation, women survive, men okay. die first. Okay. okay. We don't have the capacity. Oh. We are robots, but anatomically, as, as a pathologist, when incident occurs, men die faster. Mm. So the woman can survive. They can endure pain. That is why it is said regularly that the most wicked people that God created are the last born. Yeah. You people, you are very wicked. Yeah. And uh, the wicked is defined not because you can kill, but if you decide to harm me, there's no way your new guy, you can tell your new guy, hey, you say it. But if me, I decide to harm you and I get a new girl, because I found a new one. Mm -hmm. So the weakness of a man mm -hmm. is the sweetest moment, and that makes us vulnerable. Do you understand? I so for the man it. to shoot himself and die first, that is what happens. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we are talking about logic. Yes. And you are talking about emotions. emotions. When yes. we say logic, logic is consciousness. Yeah. And when we say people who are emotional, it's unconsciousness. Okay. So this is the basic definition that we learned in school. And it has not changed. Mm -hmm. It's the basic definition. And the reason why this definition has not changed, it can be expanded. Because your emotions makes you not to be conscious but if you want to operate your emotions you need logical thinking to operate mm. so the balance is straightforward that anger is defined as an emotion all right characterized by antagonistic reactions so when one is angry he is angry emotionally but for the action to be taken it becomes a logic a logic okay so every human being was created to balance logic and emotions. <laughs> Immediately you see someone who is not able to balance his emotions and logical thinking. Mm. He's out of the ordinary. He's having a mental deficiency. Mm. Like somebody who masturbates. Everybody who masturbates, hear me, listen. Everybody who masturbates has lost their balance between logical thinking or logical reasoning and emotions and that's they a problem they lost the balance yes it's a problem you don't know it's a problem tell your friend to stop what i'm <laughs> saying is you see and the women especially the religious girls who believe that instead of me to go and commit a sin i'll do the jiggy jiggy myself and i'm okay i'm still we yeah. are a masturbating virgin if you care to know so watch it here what is masturbation it's self-stimulating of your male organ for gratification of female organ thank you for gratification mm. now can you tickle yourself and laugh is it normal no good no, no. so once your system gets to a point where you can tickle yourself and start laughing hey me say when you dream it's a mental disorder so when one cannot balance their logical reasoning with their emotional stability they have a mental disorder Wow. Hence, an action of a disgrace, like harming somebody, pouring an acid, <coughs> shooting the person, because everybody must know that as long as you live on earth, there are some things that you can't avoid. You will hurt people. People will hurt you. And if you want to arrive at where you're going, focus. And focus means balance your logism plus your emotions it means that you can be unconscious and revive your unconsciousness to consciousness to act but if you remain in your emotion to act you are acting not with logical thinking but you are acting in your emotions and it means that you are not conscious so when you come back you regret of what you have done that's a problem so the yeah. first thing is learn how to manage your anger and what is anger management the management of your thoughts the management of your feelings and the management of your actions. These three things brings to bear logical reason and thinking and emotional balance. As you're sitting, you're on air. 
What keeps you going is a talk back. Mm. So that's a practical example yeah. Of, yeah. of logical thinking and emotions. You will want to go further, but there's a director in your ear okay. saying something to you strongly. And what he's saying might not be making sense, but physically is hitting your eardrum. Yeah. Councillor, please hold our thoughts. Our, our second best, uh, guest is joined. Uh, she's joined us via <laughs> Zoom. Uh, Reverend Dr. Ama Owusu, Director and Missionary for Families of Today for Tomorrow, uh, Canada and Ghana. Good morning, Rev. Hello, Reverend Ama. Can you please unmute? Hello, Reverend Ama. Can you hear me? Reverend Ama, kindly unmute so we can hear you. Hello, can you hear me? Mm. Yeah, we, yes, we, we, can, yeah. we can. We can. We can hear you. Me now? Yes, please. We can hear you. We can hear you. Good morning. All right. Okay. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, unfortunately, I am sitting in my car due to the traffic situation. Right. Okay. 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 Okay, Reverend Amma. So today's topic for discussion, <laughs> balancing logic and emotions. We have Councillor Lutrot already seated here. He's yes. uh, said quite a number of things. And uh, the main one that stood out for me is an individual who is unable to balance their logic and emotions, he says, has a mental problem. That is the statement that stood out Thanks. for mm. me. Mental, dis mental, mental disorder. disorder. Yes. yes. Yes, uh, good morning again to the audience. I think I definitely agree with uh, the counselor. Anybody who is not able to balance his emotion is deficient in character. Mm. Uh, um, emotional character is deficient. Now, in a relationship, there are three things that have to be there. For me, three things. It is, that one is preparedness, of physical character, uh, thank you which represents the preparedness of, of the person. How prepared is the person to, to get into a relationship? It is not about the age. It's not about their maturity. It's about how prepared in well-being itself to take up somebody else with yeah. responsibility. Now, the second is the center of what we are talking about. It is a uh, uh, character. How does the person uh, uh, betray himself or herself in emotion? There are those who cannot even manage their own anger. Left alone to uh, manage somebody. They wear anger on their feet. See, so the thing they are acting, they are yelling, they are screaming, they are pinching, they are doing all sorts of things. This type of effect is efficient. And it is in itself. Okay, Reverend Amma. Re Reverend, uh, unfortunately, the, uh, the network is, you know, it's making your sound very, very unstable. And so we'll, we'll do our best to reconnect and then make sure that we have, hoping that we'll have a smooth connection. So we'll do that in a bit. Counselor. Yeah, so, so I mean, um, yeah, sorry for her. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. in Ghana, we are used to all these words, except blocking of our sender word. <laughs> we are now adjusting. You buy your own data, and they choose when to let you flow. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but, 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 but because that, sorry for you. <laughs> I want us to look at the tr some of the triggers of some of these things you spoke yes. about. So as humans, we're, we're conditioned in the way that certain things, like you said, will hurt us, yeah. will hurt people, yeah. and all of that. Why do we blame people so much if they were un unable to make certain decisions that would rather make them better people than making them the bad ones that are there? Okay, because so, naturally, that's how the human... Thank you. So the word is not blame them. We hold them accountable. Okay. So holding somebody accountable is not blaming the person. Okay. In life, when you want to achieve... You need to focus. 
And I said earlier, focus means having balance between logical reasoning or thinking and emotional capacity. A man in the Bible called Noah, God spoke to him and said, there's flood coming to destroy the whole world. Mm -hmm. So build an ark. When he was building the ark, people were just laughing and mocking him. Mm -hmm. And maybe Noah, you read it. But those of you who are old in this country, one of the people that has been ostracized, insulted, fought, has to be removed from the space because he's an antichrist. He has not gone to school. He has not studied anything because he was the only man in the space when it comes to relationship talk on radio, TV, and everywhere is Councillor Lutrot. <laughs> but unfortunately for me, I was focused. Okay. And thanks to the multimedia family, Koyo Pon Kumar's time, there is no channel in multimedia that was not birthed by me when it comes to relationships. The rest came to pass through because I paved the way. But I was focused. I'm saying that if you don't have logical balance between you and your emotions, you can't achieve. So when you become a failure, we'll hold you responsible. And once we hold you responsible, then the three things doesn't come to play well, you disgrace yourself. Management of your thoughts, management of your feelings, and the management of your action, logical. Thought, feelings, and action. So we won't blame you, but we come back to you to know that you are a human being. And these qualities to manage your sanity is with you. Once you fail, it means I didn't manage them. Then that's what we say, you have a mental disorder. Yeah. So the thing is not blame, mm. but we are holding you. So no one was able to be focused enough to say, yeah, I've not seen the clouds. But I say, I hear the Lord saying there's a rain coming. The people were laughing and mocking at him. He focused to the extent that he allowed the tortoise. That mile of a stretch. He allowed the tortoise not to be carried. But to walk into that particular ark. Mm -hmm. It means that if you want to have balancing, you need patience. Mm. Okay. So to manage your unconsciousness, you need patience. Mm. Being unconscious doesn't mean you are dead. It means that the pores are active, but you cannot do certain things until you revive or you are revived or you come back. So that's emotion. So your emotions have taken you into a particular, which is normal. Bible says, be angry, but sin not. Don't allow the sun to go down on your anger. Mm. And the same Bible says that do not befriend a hot-tempered person. Or don't associate yourself with somebody who quickly gets angry. That's what the Bible says. Because a man who cannot manage their emotions will disgrace themselves and disgrace the rest. So you need to go through a process that you know you yourself. So I call it discovering yourself to recover yourself. My brother, when you are angry, what do you do? And I was using the talk back as an example. There are times that the director, what he's saying, actually, if it's not because he's a director, you will take the thing out of your ears. Because some of the things they say, they say some of the things that makes you angry. But everybody is seeing you and you're supposed to be smiling to the cameras. We are going one, two, at times they tell you, when you be at the one, two, <laughs> smile. Then you. So there's a talk back in your ear. So to manage your emotions, you need a talk back. And the talk back is an experience you have encountered and learned from. So when I'm angry, what do I do? Mm. My wife is irritating me. She's pushing me to the wall. Mm -hmm. I can't pass through the wall, face the wall. Okay. Because what is irritating you is your wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you said clearly that he's pushing you to the wall. If you go back to the wall, you will hit. So go and face the wall. And facing the wall is not literally like this. But can you manage mm -hmm. your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions? What is thought? Your emotional circulation of what he's saying. Bema senseni. Dienti ame wali upo minimu. Afina atiti efi me niso. Ha miti. Bema pape bifi e bruchile babe wade me. Now betra hen swing, 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 swing. Some way fili is sune pa. You are hearing all these things in your head. Then you are mame. Michelle, then one woman. Michelle, she had me on my my own mob. Obi and Chemi, she. Obi, I want first son not to send me. Obi, to me, Chemi, come Monday to Friday. So she's saying things like this. I say, manage. And these are serious things. Yeah. Manage that your thoughts. Can, can break you. Manage your thoughts. You. Manage your thoughts because when there's a talk back in your ear, you are able to manage all these things. Hope.
hoping that the show will end exactly at 10 and you leave the set. The counselor, this is difficult. It's difficult, especially <laughs> if your upbringing, you were not, you know, brought up in an environment that you can... It will you make you take to, so make, much yes, and still be, be patient, so patient about it. Congratulations. <laughs> but he says that train the child the way he should grow. Yeah. Train the child the way he should go. And when he grows, he will not depart. So the training of the child at home is a way they should go. So the way you behave at home is not important to me. Okay. But the way you behave out there is important to me. Okay. So I tell people every day, the women I have children with, I tell them, look, I'm not with the child, but my presence, no father is absent. Let's keep this on record. There is nothing called single parenting in this world. So that statement is it's not true. Because a father is a depositor of a sperm. And as long as there's a child, there's a male and a female, they bring out a child. So the father is, the presence of a father is the DNA of the child. So I'm always there. Whether the father's responsible yes, or not. Exactly. Whether who is responsible the, or not. The responsibility. Whether who is responsible for the father. The father. The, so the first thing is that you mention who is responsible. Father. So he's a father. Is he is not a father because of his responsibility. But he's a father because he has released a spermatozoa that has come to fertilize an ovulated egg. So and for that present. matter, if you are the only person available in the life of the child, raise the child the way the child must go. So that the day I meet the child, I regret not marrying you. Mm -hmm. Okay, counselor, please hold that thought. <laughs> Reverend Amar, you're back on. You're back on. Hi. Yes, I'm always on. Yes, I'm okay. on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, Rev. So earlier you were you were speaking to us about a few things. We didn't quite get there because of uh, the unstable connection. Uh, maybe you can just, in summary, let us know what exactly uh, some of the things that you were uh, uh, speaking to us on. Yes, uh, what I was talking about, I think the councillor is even touching on some of the things. Okay. How to one must um, be able to manage their own emotions. Now the councillor quoted the Ephesians, which says that. You might be angry, but sing not. And then you continue to say that do not give room to evil. Now, when your, your uh, anger goes to a certain level, you give room. It is not the person who is pushing you. You have to be able to manage your own self. Now, there are men who not necessarily somebody is even saying the things that counselor is saying to them. This topic that we are treating is very dear to me because I grew up in an abusive home seeing my father, my stepfather abusing my mother. Not necessarily because he was saying all kinds of things to her, but it is because the person is so angry within themselves. So when they have that anger within themselves, nobody knows what triggers them. Any little thing can trigger this person. Any little thing mm. to bring me a glass of water or where is my food? These little things can trigger somebody's anger simply because they think that they owe the woman in their lives you see so that is as a disease or it's a, it's a deficiency in the person's life that the person needs to get help for we can have so many excuses but the reason for the person behaving that way there is something within the person that the person himself him or herself must acknowledge that no i have a bad temper mm. i have a situation which is not good yeah. and i need to get help and we shouldn't brush it off that oh he's okay most of the time people take guns or beat people because they themselves they are not prepared enough for themselves to take care of themselves their own needs left alone taking care of somebody else we are in an era where uh, young men are taking up responsibilities which they are not supposed to. They are becoming uh, fathers or husbands at the age where they are not supposed to. They themselves, they are not ready. And now they come in with a girl who is uh, depending on them. So they think that because the, the girl is with them, they all get it. It's that notion that I owe you. I feed you, so you cannot do anything else. You do what I say. It's like a master and boss or cat and dog situation. This is where the problem is. 
when we look at the situation where it's in the state where the man killed his wife or should shoot his wife and shot himself, I mean, you are in a country where you have freedom to leave. You can leave. You can leave the man to do whatever. Yeah. Killing does killing the self make any sense? Or killing the woman making sense because the woman has cheated on you? Why would you take a life because the woman has cheated on you? You see, it is a situation within the man that needs to be handled. And until we come to that place to see that, no, we need to train people or we need to teach people how to manage their own emotions before even they take up responsibilities. Not because you feel like sex, so you want to bring a girl in and say that, I will take care of you. And no, not because, Re Reverend Amma, because you need a man to take a risk. Yes. Yeah. You know, some 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 people have have um, this mindset that okay, because they are in a relationship with you, mm -hmm. they invest in you. They invest, especially with the men, when they know that they are investing so much in you. They say that oh, if you are having an issue, or mm -hmm. if it seems that the lady is giving off like she is probably cheating on him, I don't think I can take it if I am to imagine she being with somebody else. And so because I can't, I just can't imagine you being with somebody else, I think it would be best for you to leave the earth. Yes. And that's exactly what happened in my, my mother's case. Okay. okay. This is the abuse. You are in a relationship where the person is so abusive. Then you separate yourself for many years. The man finally finds himself into your space. And then it says, oh, why do you say you are leaving me? Meanwhile, you are beating the person every day till her head is swollen. Mm. You see, um, then every time you go and talk about the families, you go and talk about it and say, oh, we are settling the case. We are settling the case. Until that man has come let's know that he is wrong, he will never stop. Mm. That man has to come to a place where he can say that, no, I can be. I cannot be doing this to a woman I claim to love. That is obsession. It is not love. Anybody behaving like that is obsessed and needs help. So this man eventually have to put a knife through her cheek to yeah. the other side. Thank God she did not die. Wow. You see, so this abuse is not of today. It has been there many, many years. Okay, so, but the, the, the society always wants to curb these things. Even when the thing goes to the police station or whatever, they say, oh, mm -hmm. yeah. No, the person has to go to jail. He has to, go to jail. He has to be punished. Oh, and then once he's in jail, you find a solution to his problem. Mm. What is it that makes you that angry? You got to separate such people and put them in a place and begin to mentor them, give them counsel, Luther to cancel them, bring them to the place of humanity because they have gone wayward. They need help. It is, it is rage. It is not even anger anymore. It is rage. Right. You understand? It is rage. It is not anger anymore. Okay. So okay. these people, the society needs to come to the place of saying that, don't cover it up. If a woman is, yeah. being go is going yeah. through... Uh, abuse in her relationship and then because want to talk about it to a friend or to a family member or oh, I just she would be a sign call. Mm -hmm. Sign call why? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I, I I always tell girls in, in whenever I'm speaking to them, I say, listen, if you're in a relationship and a man pinch you, it is a sign. Right. That he will be, he will abuse you. Okay. If a man yell at you, it's a sign. That he will yell, he will abuse you. There are so many things that you know, throwing tantrums here and there, mm. banging tables and there. Do not accept it. Get away and find help. Look at it that the man needs help. Don't look at it that he because he loves me. And unfortunately, many women think that because the man loves them, that is why the man yeah. is behaving that yeah. way. No, the yeah. man is obsessed. Yeah. yeah. It is not love. So you need to get out and seek help. If you love that man, you will call for help for him. That mm. listen, this man has an anger problem and he needs help. Initially he will not appreciate it, but eventually he will. When he comes to the place to see that he has a need 
in his life, his personal need, his social need, his character is offline. So okay. this is what okay. I have to say that we need to help. Yeah, the right. people need help. Okay. Until the society goes into that place, until we educate people, they will not come out of it. Okay. Let, 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 one other issue. I want us to look at the generational difference. So maybe in the past we're not hearing too many of these issues. Um, are we seeing most of these things happening because of the kind of generation we find ourselves in? It's easier for somebody to be just angry about something that really in the past than about 50 or 30 years ago, mm. someone would have said that this didn't really make sense for me to be even angry about. Uh, uh, Councillor, but, but is it a problem? But most of the people committing a crime are not in their 20s. Yes. They are in their 40s. Yes. Mm. They yeah. are in their 50s. Mm. A 70 year old blind man had his way with a wife in bed. And in his blind state, he butchered the woman into pieces. You read that story? Mm. In Accra, Ghana. Mm. Yes. 70 years blind man could have mm. his way sexually with the wife and felt that somebody else have gone into the wife and can carry machete and chop her into pieces. This man needed help long time before he was 70. Mm -hmm. But everybody ignored yes. The effect of potty training yes. and delay of gratification has been neutralized in our lives. I can say uh -huh. this with all pride and humility at the same time, mm. that people have forcefully made statements on set for me to be angry. Mm. It's on record. I've never been angered before. I make my point. I've been with, on set with people who are professionals and we have to go on break on multimedia. Because they broke down what they were misbehaving, exhibiting their, their anger. Because I was treating anger, and I touched on something that they have decided that nobody should ever touch on before. Mm. And they got upset on set, didn't know the environment. So it is not about modernity. Right. These people have a lack of a certain form of training. And if you go to their background, like Doug is saying, she has a background that she's, she's always going to live with. Yeah. I am coming from an abusive home. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things she would try, try to avoid is to create an abusive home. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. However, train the child the way he should go. go. Yeah. And when he grows, so the way is when she is not with me, when she's out of the house. Mm -hmm. Imagine you have a daughter you thought you kept in a hen coop like a chicken on a hen. Mm. Then you discover 30 years down the line, there's a book she's writing that she got pregnant and terminated. You will be broken down. Mm. Because the last thing you ever thought is that this girl will go to that extent. So I'm saying that the upbringing, the life we are living, mm. how we are raising the children is part of our problem. We are doing zookeeping and poultry farming instead of parenting. Give them what they want. Raise them to become any parent who raised a child to come and take care of them are not parents. They are investors. Mm. Because I, no parent should take care of you to come and take care of him or her. Parents should take care of you so that you, the siblings, can take care of yourself. I am not the investment of my father. So there's no pressure on me. But there's pressure on me from him to become somebody who, when I grow and I go, I'll be an evidence of honor oh, to them. That, yeah. Yeah. So in my marriage, I say every day, if my wife goes to tell my mother that when food is not ready, I throw tantrums and I fight and everything. My mother will say it's not true. Why? Because when I was young, when food is not ready, I drown and sink. Because I am not a breadwinner. I am a bread eater. But I was taught the delay of gratification. When food is not ready, wait, it will be ready for you. But what do we do now? The child is crying. Why don't you make sure that the porridge is cool before you give to the child? But you replace the porridge with a soft drink. And before the porridge is ready, the child is it's full. Ready for, yeah. So we are giving them what they want so we can have our peace of mind. I go to, a, I go to the state and I see all the children around. Everybody's holding a tablet. And I say, ah, <laughs> what's happening here? <laughs> Why are all the children? Is it for me to have my piece of mind? Let him play with the gadget. Ah, yeah. So I buy you a phone as a wife, a very expensive phone because I love you. Mm -hmm. 
It's not part of marriage, but I love you. That's why I bought it. Mm -hmm. Then in two days' time, you come and tell me that that phone I bought, the screen is crashed because my son crashed it on the floor. What happened? He was playing game. You are making me angry, is that not it? Yes. But I'll manage my thoughts. I'll manage my feelings and manage my action. I'll change the phone for you and add an instruction to it. Because the Bible says in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 16, and say, for the rest of your life, your desire shall be for your husband. He shall rule over you. So a headship must instill some level of rules. And if you want to be a head, you should learn to manage your anger. Mm. So the problem we have is not because of generation and things. Mm. But those who are causing murder are more than 40. So 40 years ago, the training they gave them, this is their problem. They cannot manage themselves in the new generation because they were not introduced into the generation. I think I'll share with you in the morning telling you that never allow marriage. Don't ever desire to look for marriage. Let marriage look for you. Mm. Okay. When you look for marriage, you suffer. Let marriage see that, wow, this boy is ready. Marriage, pa, then it drops on you. But you need to make the effort if you don't make the effort. Why would the marriage identify you? Because you are ready. But you don't go and look for it. So our emotional stability, our logical thinking has been thwarted based on so many negative influences, which are the same influences positive to others. The message you are preaching from the pulpit, everybody is taking a different way. The man of God is saying that your sinful nature, repent. The way you are sleeping around, repent. If God is, if nobody is seeing, God is seeing. And you are angry with him. Who told him? Am I the only sinner in the church? No, no, he's talking to everybody. He's talking to everybody. <laughs> so your logical thinking, reasoning, and your emotional balance will cause you to have an effect to change the lifestyle or not to. Okay, Councillor, we have some comments, KMJ. Uh, yeah. Let me see. Okay, so this one, um, I think we have about two. This one says that uh, the topic is generally a Ghanaian problem. It's not true. <laughs> it's not true. It is not true. It's not it true. It's never true. And the Ghanaians who don't know, they say hey, when a child is 18, true. elsewhere they are free. No, the law, when you read the law very well, as, 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 as a family lawyer, the law says that the child is 18, that the law can deal with him directly when he goes at fault against the law. Okay. But still, parental control yes. is needed. And there are some times that even after 18, when you do things, they hold your family responsible. Yeah. So when they say that we're new, family, no, 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 no. Let's, let's not, it's not, it's not, it's a world problem because God didn't create Ghana alone. <laughs> yeah. Didn't he get angry and say the heart of man is desperately wicked that he destroyed the earth? Was it not anger? Mm. Did Moses yes. bring the Ten Commandments? Yes. Was, he, was Moses a Ghanaian? Yes. Moses didn't bring the Ten Commandments. <laughs> as a matter of fact, there's no Ten Commandments as we speak. Yes. Because he got yeah. up there and he didn't know what was going down there. Mm. And he didn't even inquire by managing his thoughts, his feelings and actions. He could have brought the Ten Commandments down and still be celebrated. But he broke them before he heard the news. So anger is a tool for change or for distraction. His Excellency the President saw somebody not obeying the blood and toil of our fathers by standing to acknowledge the national anthem. His rage and anger to bring the change, we all saw his action with the minister. It means that what the president saw, the minister he didn't see, John Ginapo didn't see, he's the only person who saw it and yeah. reacted. Yeah. Not knowing what is happening to the king or the chief. Mm -hmm. But his, his reaction was good. And I pray that we have 12 of Nanado in Ghana. Every road with Porto will be changed, not by by election. That's just by the way. So he managed, he managed that situation well. <laughs> oh, no, you call it management for change. But at the end of the day, we all saw the reaction. Nobody by video saw what the king did, but you saw the reaction. Yeah. And the way he acted in his position, he's not supposed to. But you know because of what he saw. So what you see can cost you, but what you need is anger management, which is the balancing of your logical reasoning and thinking mm -hmm. and your emotions because yeah. you are supposed to be conscious and unconscious. So balance it. Okay. Seek for help. KMJ, it's not a no. Ghanaian sickness. We it's a worldwide yeah. sickness. Okay. And you are seeing it earlier. It, parliament, people are fighting parliament, collecting chairs. Ah, now to sit away, I'm sitting. And for many years, people intentionally want to make you angry. People want to make you exhibit your weaknesses in public, not your strength. And I'm saying that. Let's really raise our children. Kofi Kenata says something. He says parents are calling them secular musicians, especially their Christian parents. Yeah. But later do we know that 80% of the lifestyle of our children are shaped by their songs. It hits me in the studio. Because my, my house, I, I, 
I don't hate Kofi Kenyatta's song, but I don't play them in the house. But my children come back from school and all the new dance, they can pull, they can do it. I don't know where they learned it from. As a pastor, I mean, chill, I'm not against it. But the influence of Kenata and the secular musicians we have neglected, we are not minding them. Sex education has gone down the drain. Yeah. So you meet a girl at 25 years old who can get pregnant and seek for abortion. Instead of being safe sex, if they can't abstain, mm -hmm. they can't be faithful, they should be able to use condom or contraceptive. It is an abomination, but they are ready to go have a child for us. Children are supposed to come out as a result of choice, not chance. But it happening to her because of lack of what we call uh, premarital education when it comes to sex. We don't want to talk about it. Our airwaves are doing good with a political discussion, but doing bad. Thanks to you that you're doing relationship today. You understand? Yeah. But it is the last thing they do. How many people start relationship Monday, Tuesday? Thanks to Hit FM. That is how we started Hit FM. We're doing it every day. And it was bringing solution in this country. Mm. Yes, it doesn't bring the marketing value. But it brings the shaping of the, the consciousness of the individual here. I don't know who my daughter will marry in the future. Yeah. I don't know which man is going to marry my, my daughter. Mm. I don't know where my son will be with a certain woman. So I am raising a husband, I'm raising a father, I'm raising a particular child. Not to take care of me, but to take care of herself and bring honor to me. Mm. Please, it is not a I think, I think in that regard to a lot of parents are, I would say, are having it wrong too. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of. Because, like, lot... like Doc said, yeah. they are children. Yeah. A 26 year old yes. boy is marrying a 23 year old girl. Are we normal? Yes. I, 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 yeah, I that's, are that's, we correct? I a family is sitting down, yeah. receiving marriage of their 23 year old girl with a 23 year tomboy. Are we correct? A boy who is not after 30, can he take care of himself? Mm. Your child is just uh, nobody. This is why nurses, I said this some years ago, and they, they now realize it. Nurses right after school, they have some back pay. They have some flat. So at 24, 23, Charlie, baby, you had the cool. Then they find boys like AMJ who are actually 26 looking for a job. Give them the money to marry them. So most of them go on retirement with no husbands and no wife because mm. one of the most boring things on earth is marriage. And when you marry early, you leave early. Who are in time? Why in time? Social media conversation. Fella Makafui, medical. Yes, is he a joke or what? They are tired. I'm a breath. I'm a breath. I'm a breath. Hey, you're up. I'm a breath. Rev, I want to ask you this. This, this, this same yeah. person I'll be asking. I want dog. To okay, okay, please do. Please do. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I agree with counselor again on parenting. I think that um, uh, society, w whether in Ghana or all over the world, has not really trained our children the way we're supposed to train them, especially yes. our boys. Yeah. Hmm. Now, yeah. we are in a society where we let the boys do whatever they want. Yes. And girls have to be in the kitchen. Yes. Boys are playing football. Boys are doing this. Boys are doing hmm. that. And we have not sat, most parents do not sit their sons down to teach them what they're supposed to do as men. How do you raise, even in a house, a parent who has a boy and a girl makes the boy superior over the girl. Hmm. The boy eats and leaves his plate in the sink mm -hmm. for the girl to go and wash it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's absolutely wrong. You eat in your plate, you wash your plate. The girl has to cook for the boy to come and eat. The boy's uniform is washed by the girl. Yeah. So this mentality is created in our sons that they don't have to do anything. All they need is service. Somebody has to serve, serve them. them. Yeah. So when they grow up and they go into a relationship, they leave the mother's breast and write to their girlfriend's breast looking for the breast same milk. feeding. <laughs> yeah. And I like the way he said that the boy himself that at the age of 23, 24, whatever they are married, how prepared, I always go back to the preparedness. Mm -hmm. How prepared are they? You let your son marry and then you bring them to your house. You bring your son and his wife have to come to your house. Where the scripture says, if a man desires to marry, he has to be ready to leave. Mm. Leave your parents 
and go and cleave to your wife and the two of you become one. So when the person is not prepared to leave, why do you let them marry because they are burning? Then parents should have to help them to bring them to that maturity, that place of responsibility. Teach, like we have to teach our children. From I say that it has to even start from the school. As part of our social study curriculum in school, teach boys <laughs> to become men. Education. We should teach them to become men. The church has to teach men, <laughs> boys, young men, to become men. Not, uh, not just uh, uh, boys who want to be married or boys who want to enter into a relationship. You are entering into a relationship where you yourself, you don't even have a cap. Yet you expect the woman to come in with everything. And we have made it so glamorous that, oh, the wedding and everything and everything. People are borrowing money to go and do our bride prices. Our yeah. traditional marriage. Yeah. <laughs> it is costly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is very costly. You see, the problem I have with Ghana, excuse me, I'm a Ghanaian Canadian. I lived outside for some time. Okay. The problem I have when I came back is that and now I hear our traditional marriage is called engagement. Yeah. <laughs> and now wedding is marriage. Excuse me, when did that happen? Hmm. It's when you our left. Our forefathers <laughs> and our grandmothers. <laughs> they, married, they married from the tradition and gave birth to all of us. They are not, they are not, we are not bastards. We are married children. We are children of the house. Marriage is between two families. <laughs> so until we come back to these things and stop this social uh, 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 media stuff and trying to overlearn ourselves, bringing the white people's marriage engagement in abroad is when uh, I go I go out with my husband and my my boyfriend and then he just bring a, bring out and say, "Will you marry me?" I, I say yes. <laughs> then I come out to tell my parents that is engagement. But not when you have bought so much, spent so much money, hmm. and, 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 and done all the necessary things as married, the, the families have agreed that you have married. Then we put a, a dump on it. And so a young man thinks that because they have gone, just gone to do the tradition, he can just leave the girl. Yeah. Because he's not, he's not married yet. You are married, excuse me. Mm. We need to stress these things and teach it well for the people to understand the whole concept of what relationship and marriage is all about. So we don't mess it up. So we don't just go out and think that if the girl doesn't do what I want, I have the right to beat her. No, you have no right, sir. Right. It is wrong. So okay. the society must teach. Schools must teach. Church must teach. The mosque must teach. And then find solutions for those who have this problem. If we pick it up like we have picked it up, people will begin to know that, hey, I think I have an issue with my, yes. my temper. I need to go and seek help. I think that will help us by that. Now, you were asking if these things were there in the 40s, 60s. Yes, yes it was. But now we, we know more about it because of social media. I know a man who just shot his wife in my, in, in, in my, oh, in my age. I'm, I'm over 60 years. Welcome. I was a young woman Welcome. when that happened. Welcome. So sister. these things have been there, but in those days, <laughs> thank you. So this, this thing, <laughs> Pastor Kankasla, thank you. <laughs> so this thing has been there many, many years ago hmm. when, you know, but because there was no social media, there was not even telephone. It was by, by telegram. So how are you going to tell anybody yeah. to know? Except the community will know. Exactly. But today, Somebody will just stand there and take a shot, and it's all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to do better. Yes. We can do better. Okay. okay. So yeah. I actually, actually, Ellie, I wanted us to touch on this, the red flags that we tend to ignore when they, these partners exude them. Because um, I have listened to quite a number of friends, and when they talk about, oh, I went to visit my boyfriend, and then he was like, he went out, he came, and he was like, ah, one proper fear her. When clean fear her. Somebody will say that, ah, so what? Are you expecting, were you expecting mm. me? Is it that you want me as a girlfriend or as a wife just so that I can I'll be, be doing clean these things. or I can be cooking? Is that, is that all that you think about? Like, you know, and in a situation like that, as a, as a lady, would you see a person like, ah, no, this person could be controlling? You see, I, I yes. have come to 
apologize one time for a lecture I spent money and rented a place to teach. And that was red flags before marriage. Okay. And let me take the opportunity here again and apologize for that seminar I did. Uh, all the things I told you, there were things I read from somebody's emotional book written. <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so there are no red flags in relationships? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if anybody tells you you can have a red flag before my, you'll be single to death. Mm. And you become like Kwame, you just single for now. Hear who? <laughs> Hear me, my brother. Really? There are no red flags before marriage. Okay. But marriage is an institution that you only experience the things in it. There's nothing you can experience before marriage. You just made a typical example. Yeah. Sleeping. Whilst we are not married, yeah, is it a crime? Cleaning the house. So you walk into my house, yeah, and the place is dirty, and all you do is, hey, how are you? But what were you doing when the place no, was hold dirty? How are you feeling, sir? I'm proud. Can you see where I'm sitting? I'm not saying oh. Sounds like it's in there. <laughs> my mother spanned me, not spanned. Those days that you, you people brought the English span. Yes. Because you wanted to qualify it. My mother beat the hell out of me because I went into a washroom and there was urine on it. And I came out and said, Asha Mash, you know. And she was like, Wow, somebody's house. Oh. And I told my mom, Asha Mash, you know, means they've united on the post. So I didn't we say, Oh, not kind, what is so when my mother said it nicely, then I saw the thing that Charlie was slamber. <laughs> Ah, in somebody's house, oh. <laughs> she took me to the washroom and said, who left here last? I said, I don't know. He said, stop the lie. Who left here last? Before I said, Jack, two has happened. He says, who left the washroom last? You. You. You know, I was not the last person who left. Of my course. mother beat the hell out of me. I remember I was the last person who left. <laughs> and this is what she told me. Because we're the last person who left, anything there is from who? You. 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 So when you go and meet it, Yes. Clean it till yeah. today. I'm a yeah. toilet cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes a lot of sense. I don't go and yes. call yes. anybody yes. to come and clean. Yeah. Mm. That beating I've never That's forgotten right. in somebody's house. And when she beat me so much, the owner of the house asked me, "Never you are naked." Oh, etwewa. The salutation was etwewa. Now so what they? They didn't tell the madam. I don't think till today she's alive. My mother is gone, but that woman, is, that woman didn't know why I was beating. But I'm saying today. <laughs> I went to see a wee wee on the toilet and I came to report. My mother beats me because it says it is wrong. When you see it, you do it. Clean it up. So when you walk to my house, cleaning my house when you come and meet death, not when I call you come and clean, but you came and saw death and you clean, doesn't make you a wife. It doesn't mean that potentially when you marry my, you'll be cleaning. No. Okay. It means that you are coming to exhibit, train the child the way he should go mm. and where he grows. So you are exhibiting signs of qualities that showing that you are coming from a premium proper home and you're putting me to shame. Mm. Okay. So you, you came and you were not working like this and the next thing is that you are sweeping and picking things up. And I come and because I'm also from a proper home, I feel shy and disgrace. Oh, sorry. Hey, you clean the place up like this. I feel very disgusting. That's wow. Right. That's you right. put a picture of cleanliness in my heart. Mm. It doesn't make your wife so material. That means it is done willingly. <laughs> it doesn't that make your wife material. It is done willingly. Look, my wife goes to her family house. My mother is cooking. And she dressed nicely like you. The only thing you're supposed to do is I should tell my mother that my wife is in. And my mother will leave the kitchen and come and greet my wife in the sitting room. My wife doesn't go to the kitchen. Yes, they don't understand. Wow. You grow to know. She will never go to the kitchen. She didn't dress like a cook to that house. Okay. Your mom was not, your mom doesn't uh, take yeah. it anywhere. Anything she with takes it. it, it is the upbringing they give us. The, this is a visitor. And anytime my wife goes to her family house, she's supposed to be treated like a guest. But that's not your, your wife. That is the right protocol. That's a family. Proper, look, yes, that's, that's a, that my wife, my mother is an ill. Your wife is not a guest in your my wife in your mother's is a house. guest because in my mother's kitchen, what she puts in the soup before my mother will eat, my father will eat, nobody knows. Ah. Okay. My wife's kitchen is the, the yeah. conduit to my stomach. So nobody cooks for me. That is one of the difficult things a man learn is how to eat your wife's food. So I'm saying that this is one of the problems we have. And when she came out to her, 
on your she. Now sit back with fufu and soup. You expect my wife to come and pump fufu for my mother for who to You're eat? You're helping. No, for who to eat? <laughs> yes. No, for who uh -huh. to eat? Man, we have a funeral yeah. home, and we are going to a family house. And the funeral is in the family house. There's a house, a room to sleep in. My wife says, no, I don't want to sleep in the family house. Me too, I refuse to sleep in the family I sleep in a guest house because, because she's the queen. Anytime my wife appears in my family, they need to serve her. And anytime my family comes to our house, they meet a house self who is my wife. And she also serves them. That is where her power is, not in my family house. So you see the that's training. Right. That's right. Uh, man, you man, see the training. Wow. Okay. Okay. So you are okay. this one, this okay. one. Yes, I, I disagree. No, 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 no. I no. I Don't worry. This is why would you? No, no. Why would you, no. you see. Okay, I mean, once, agree. It is, it is also written in the Bible that that's, once the person marries, she becomes a family. No. So no, going to assist no, in your, no in your, in your in-laws house. Hey, there's, no there's no way in the Bible. Are you not a family? Hey, this if you marry, if you marry, this is not a family. Keep quiet. Well, it's not a family. Ah, so, it's not a family. are you then? Don't use the Bible like that. If two people come together, they become what? They are not family. So your family becomes not family. You said they are not family. My mother is an in-law to my wife. They are not friends. Yes. Yeah. That is why yes. my mother calls yeah, yeah. my phone. But she literally yeah. becomes yeah. part of your family. She is not. She is an echo friend of the family. There's a man, I am, in law. Mm -hmm. And who is the law? Watch it. Let me give you this foundation. Watch. Mm -hmm. This is my wife. Mm -hmm. You are the father. So between me and you, I am your in law. Mm -hmm. So between me, mm -hmm. you, and your daughter, who is the law? Tell me who is the law. No, she's the law. Why does she become a law? Because she made me become your in law. You so get because it? he's an in-law, before I talk to you, the law, I need to go in. Nyesha! Vola! <laughs> so you see, you are so angry. Everybody's angry in the house. Nikia <laughs> Bashiani. And that's what they do. And everybody now has adjusted their learning from my wife. Yeah. And she, I love her to the max. Because when uh -huh. she goes, their makeup is on point. Mm. Their nails are on point. Mm. Hey, <laughs> Something must be said to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Look, my mom likes my favorite food. She will call me. If you have cooker, she told me, I say, hold on. Then I mute the food. I asked my wife. Mommy says she has done bangkuk for me. Uh, will you eat? I don't feel hungry. Once my wife says she's not feeling hungry, I call my mother. Offer an enter. You know why? Ah. What? Look, she's not feeling hungry. You know why? Ah. What? Look, I say, boys are suffering in marriage. Men, we will stay. Until they kill us. Are you us. not making them hate you? Yes. Your wife? No, no, no. They, they can't hate her because my wife is an in-law. Yeah. They can't hate her because my wife is an in-law. And nobody can go to her except through me. Yeah. My mother can never call my wife on less through me. Yeah. Because my wife is an in-law. And nobody can go to her except through me. Yeah. My mother can never call my wife on less through me. Yeah. When my phone is off, it's off. You don't call my wife to ask what's your husband. No more. Ah. Who's, who born dog? Go oh. correct. Hold it. Oh. So I say I won't eat. Do you know why? Because I won't go and sit in front of my mother. Eating banku she told me. My wife is sitting there not eating. And then you know, who let your name? No, no. I don't want to I don't want to do I said, no, I don't want a drama. Yeah. So I drink my saliva. And when we are coming on the way, my wife will walk me to KFC and buy me chicken and yam. It's mm. not my favorite. But by virtue of she giving, I pull her and call God. And then where are you? I am naked. I am always naked. Instead of me saying I'm behind the tree. KMG, you see, anger can be managed. Yeah. See the anger I'm, I'm managing my own for. Yeah. Because yes. I know my mom came to her house one time yes. we were sleeping. And before we heard she was sweeping. My wife caught her until my mother sweeping at home. Hey, this is taboo. Mm. Mm. My wife has gone to collect a certain juju to keep me. If you come and sweep, you sweep it out. Mm. <laughs> no, you can see something lying that you think is bola. But it is a protection my wife went for to keep me in the marriage. Oba, 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 so your, 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 your mother has no right to sweep I in right your from house. from the room and I say, hey, me no fear, let me check over here. No, no, no. Me no fear, here. No. No, me no fear, no. no. What are you sweeping? <laughs> no, what are you sweeping? What is sweeping? Her house is dirty. No, no. It, I, I, you, my mother is, is a queen when she comes to a house. Right. She doesn't do anything. Right. She's sitting down and her daughter-in-law is showing her what is given to the son. Right. My mother only experiences the way I'm treated when she comes to a house. So she doesn't come and come and cook for us. So me just say that me want to me must buy now, but on the new year, I'm going to say, "See, I will make you a man. You better feel in the <laughs> okay, so uh, some messages. Let me, let me go through them quick. And okay, we'll... we have some comments. Yeah, so this one says, hello, good morning. How are you doing today in the studio? This morning, you guys in the studio are looking so fantastic it's and beautiful. Me, nice <laughs> discussion this morning. I am learning something from a discussion this morning. Please, if you're a lady and you are single and you need someone to talk to, that's a normal actually. Contact me on 
Uh, uh, producers, they open the number on. on this is our world, yeah. Know, I'm gonna do this. This is our world. I'm or, telling you. Or advertising the Yeah. <laughs> so we are we are a single. <laughs> if one else is single, uh, take the number zero two seven seven. <laughs> 609 This is number. She's single. Yeah? My man, my man. Hey, says that good morning uh, with a love emoji. Uh, this one says, uh, Skyboy says, Heroes on show. Uh, TK Asama says, Love you, Councillor Lutriot. Mm. Uh, Gideon Techi says, Killing people in relationship is getting worse. Thanks for, the, uh, for today's discussion. Mm. Another one here says, Good morning. So, uh, let me move on to this one. It says, Hi, good morning. I like your discussion this morning. Please, I uh, help me out on this. I'm in a relationship and anything I do to this lady, she never says thank you to me. Sometimes she gets angry at me even if I don't do or say something bad. But she said she loves me, but I believe that. So what should I do about this? Go and work on yourself. Leave the girl alone. The girl is not a problem. You are the problem. Why? Because she's not getting a thank you. you. Are, the guy is a problem, not the girl. But it's, it's not bad The melancholy say, oh, doesn't you. express thank you. The melancholy in inclusion, in control, in affection, they don't say thank you, they act thank you. But the sanguine want to hear the thank you. Yes. So if you do the tribal temperament, which nobody has a book, only me, develop it. The tribal temperament is that the airways are melancholies. The guns are sanguines. The ashantis are choleric. The fantis are phlegmatic. The northern belt are the supines. Now watch it here. The melancholy will let you believe that if you give them this gift, Hello. Hi. Nice. Thank you, buddy. Or they take it and go like, wow. They go first to the label. Ah, this is, this is KMG. But it's not original because see, the original is light blue. Well, it's okay. The melancholy, method, they want to give detail. They've appreciated it. They decide not to wear. Give it to the sanguine. And that's the airway lie. The airway person is just cool about it. Give it to a sanguine who is attributed to be a gun. You give them this ginger. It's fake. Boy, I won't be able to go. I don't know me, I forgot to approach you by it. I can approach you to go by it. No, no, hey, hey, hey. Nunko, nunko. Kwe, how come I think I saw more? And every second they go to jail. What are you going to do? You will get to approach you by it. Yes. You'll be angry by the expression, but it is a temperament, not temper, temperament exhibition. Mm. So if you don't understand the human behavior, Anger will always come and hit you. I am living with a wife who is fully melancholy. So you buy her a car, and you present the car to her in public. You are in trouble. Mm. Yeah. You have embarrassed her. But there's a sanguine woman who wants to come and tell everybody, see what my husband gave me. This is my hand, my hand, my hand. <laughs> so if you don't take her, you'll be angry. Yeah, yeah, dear mama. You know, so what you're saying, she's not appreciative. It is not about the girl. When you understand yeah. you, you understand yourself, you can manage anything under you. So I say that anger management is the management of what? Your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. So this guy has no problem, but... Councillor, okay. <laughs> Reverend Nama. Hmm. Reverend Nama, uh, let, let's take your final yeah. words. Unfortunately, we have to end this conversation. Let's, let's take your final words on this topic. Yes, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, Pastor Reverend... Uh, Luther, Luther a lot yes. for what he has said. Thank you, Mama. Um, it is true that, you know, things that have to be done in relationships has to be done with respect and in from voluntary hearts, not demanding. Mm. Again, when I, I appreciate the fact that he supports his wife in all these things. Actually, I'm supporting myself, yes, Your <laughs> wife, your mother in law is not the one who has to come to your house to cook. Yes, you don't come to, to my house. For me, my, I don't allow my, I, I have never allowed my mother-in-law to come and cook for me. Thank God, you're 16. And, um, you know, years ago, I saw something in my family and I didn't like it. I corrected it. Okay. Because a, a mother-in-law coming to a kitchen, her, her daughter-in-law's kitchen to cook for her son. If your son is not ready to have a wife, then he should stay home with you <laughs> so that okay. you can be cooking for her. Okay. To, okay. For him. That's right. But you cannot, you, you cannot come to your son-in-law's house yeah. and say that this is my son-in-law's house. <laughs> so I have the right to be here. No, you don't have the right. You have the right in your husband's home or your own home. Right. The man has left his wife, has left the family and have joined to his wife. The Bible says, and the two shall become one. If the, the, you, you used to cook sumptuously for the man, 
Now the man is married to a girl who can only prepare cocote for him. Mm. Leave them alone. That is what they want to eat. <laughs> Leave them alone. Don't come and interfere. Yeah. You see, the problem we have is uh, that I hear a lot is that we are looking for a wife material. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when the girl comes, she should be able to pre he should be able to sweep the house. Yes. He should be able to be washing. So who said that is part of the qualification anyway? Marriage is uh, 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 working together. Like I said, I live in abroad. Now, when you live in abroad, we all go to work. Yes. My husband cook. He wash. He, he, he irons. Me, for example, I never. I don't iron. My husband will iron everything yes. I wear. Okay. So, uh, uh, garbage. He takes garbage. He does things, things. But in Ghana or in Africa, they, when you see a man doing these things. They say he's been taken to a shrine. You know, but that is not it. Marriage, marriage is working together. It's two people building a family. Mm. It is two people joining their life together and building the next generation. What can you do to make the next generation better? <coughs> How you live with your wife or your husband in a home will let your children also copy it and live that way better. So you train your children not only by what you say, but you train them by what you do. So we don't allow our girlfriends to come home and then when your girlfriend comes and is the, the boy is demanding. No, the girl can voluntarily do things. It yeah. is voluntary. Yeah. She can choose to pick up and sweep your and dust it for you. Mm. It's for you to know that, hey, the room you are living in is, is dirty. Yes. It is very dirty. But that does not mean that it is her responsibility when you are not even married her to come and cook that and do everything for you. This is why the men are becoming possessive because they think that once they are giving you the money, then you are responsible for their all yes, their wealth. Yes, yes. I think that this, this, this has to be corrected. <laughs> right. It needs to be corrected. And okay. I thank you so much for having me. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Reverend Dr. Ama Owusu, for being here with us. Uh, Reverend. A lot of messages, yeah. I don't know, the, but let's, <laughs> maybe we'll do some of them and then he will wrap up. I, I, uh, lots of them. Uh, this one says, good morning. It's Don Pedro watching live from Accra, New Town. Please ask counselor that assuming you don't want your girl child to be used to be, uh, to men outside or to know what sex is all about. What do you do? Is it possible? Um, sex education. Yourself. Tell her no that this is a male organ. Every erection needs direction. This is a female organ. Akatesia or Katesi, we are a chain, we are cutting, and the bacon chain, a bacon cutting. Good morning. You guys are on track. Please, can we have uh, uh, have uh, this relationship show? Uh, couching instead of uh, the politics every time. Know, <laughs> relax, right? relax. I'm enjoying your show. Greetings to Councillor uh, Christopher uh, Hunya from Mafia uh, Avenue in the Volta region sent in that one. Uh, another one over here says, okay, really learning a lot from you. Please, I have two children with my wife, but I can now, I can now have sex with her when she's ready. I cannot have sex with her when she's ready. Uh, she wasn't like that. What should I do? That's like, wait, you, uh, you I'll find a way and answer that. <laughs> there are a lot of <laughs> This one says, I'm Sam from Latte. God bless you and all thanks to a fantastic show. Um, this one says that, uh, good morning. I'm really enjoying the discussion. My man is divorcing the wife for three years, but he, he called me to say that the ex-wife came to visit with the children. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is giving you? Mm. It's giving your production team that people have issues. Yeah. So let's pick topics and address this. Mm. I say that there are three things that works when it comes to life on TV and radio. Politics is good. Mm. It has time bound. I say enough, I say enough. Shame, MVP, Asa. Luzu, Asa. But we'll come back and come and discuss economic issues. Football, like uh, Nataniato, they will come and do all that, especially when Ghana is going to play or there's a big match coming, it becomes loud. But there is a particular program that is seasonal. Nothing changes it. No weather. All weather is relationship. Because every day, footballers are suspecting somebody sleeping with their wife. And when they do DNA, they realize that children are still there. There are issues happening. So when you see people sending messages like this, it means that one, you brought them a resource person that has touched on things that others don't do. I don't falter you people when you're hosting programs. So. No, 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 no. Now, most of you people, the host, have become relationship experts. No, that's why people are not getting married. But I'm okay with it. <laughs> but bringing the right professional will provoke people to tell you this is what we are going through. You see the topics there. I can't sleep with my wife anymore. 
And she was not like that. Mm, two years. When she was not like that, how old was she? Look, this married thing, KMJ Kai. A woman will get to a stage called, I am going through, what do you call it? This is something called hot flashes. I read it in school, but I'm experiencing it. Hey, blame and blame. It means that at a point in time, she's feeling hot at a time. When right, the right. AC it has 16 degrees. <laughs> and all of a sudden, can you, can you increase it to 27? This is awalia, titi awalia, any boom. Hot flash is a whole issue. So I'm saying that anger management is all that is balancing your logical thinking to your emotional instability. Mm. And if you want to do it, all you need to do is to manage your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. Seek for help. And mm. I'm responsible fully for all my comments and my actions. On 0277 Malablo, 609, only name was so, 644. Michael, my man is divorcing the husband, the wife to come and marry me. Three years now, he has not come. Oh, man. 0277 609 644. Hope you can. And yes, she. Over chat, chat. What have I visited? The messages are not, are not, are not yeah, sure. I'm, we're sorry we're not able coming. to read all the messages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come, but come. we encourage you to kindly make sure that you join us early. When you tune in at exactly 6 a.m., you wouldn't miss out. And yeah. we'll be able to read your messages early, early in the. Um, in the segment, so make sure that you are early in joining us every single day hmm. uh, right here <laughs> on Prime Morning. Okay, so viewers, this is where we end this conversation. You have learned a lot. We have read your messages, and I hope that you've learned a lot as well. You need to learn to manage your emotions. Hmm. Learn to manage your emotions. KMG? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's been quite insightful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I still have issues with counseling. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> our, <laughs> so our guest who, who joined us by our Zoom was Reverend Dr. Amma Ogusu, Director and Missionary for Families of Today for Tomorrow, Canada, Ghana. Thank you very much, Reverend. And our guest in studio was Reverend George Lutro, who is a counselor. Reverend, thank you so much for being <laughs> thank here. Thank you for having me. Right. The most troubled okay, So coming up next is... <laughs> Prime Sports with Nathaniel Atto. <laughs> <laughs>
Frytol and Fortune Rise from Wilma and sponsored by Zest Consult, Pidato Company Limited, CBS Industries, Top Choco, Ultimate Fashions, Flora Tissues. Supported by Mino All in One Nutrimix is truly milky and contains calcium, so no need to add milk to that rich, creamy cup, which helps to nourish and energize your kids. Mino. This effort is. Uh, there are times that we award people who work so hard to make sure that uh, they put smiles on the faces of people and this award scheme is coming up tomorrow and I have with me one of the organizers actually he is the convener for it and his name is Comrade Barry Indu he's the convener for Convengers of African Young Leaders and Awards good morning how are you Barry oh, doing great very good, yes. now tell us about uh, this uh, great event coming up Okay, so every year we bring together um, young Africans who are doing well in different sectors of society. You know, Africa is a very big continent. Mm -hmm. That the resources we have in this continent, if properly managed, you know, Africa can get to the topmost you know level as far as um, the whole world is concerned. So every year we bring together young people in different uh, sectors of society, uh, uh, politics, business, journalism, health, education. Twenty people actually, you know. Um, to, to, to first of all um, discuss issues affecting Africa, discuss political issues, discuss the way forward for Africa, discuss the way young people can contribute to leadership, to governance in, you know, in this continent. Then the second part of the event will be to honor these people, to tell them thank you for what they are doing for Africa, thank you for what they are doing for their different, um, different countries. Then at the end of the event, we are also going to induct them into what we we'll call the African Hall of Great Achievers. It's a way of um, you know, saying thank you, actually. You know, in Africa, we wait for people to die before we celebrate them. We mm. spend so much money uh, burying people. Sometimes people get sick. Nobody gives them money until they die. But when they die, they spend more money burying the man than they could have given right. him while he was alive. Mm. So what we do is to say thank you while you are still alive, to encourage you, to inspire you, to ask you to keep doing what you are doing wherever you are. That our eyes are watching you and we appreciate you. Great. And it's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow, British Council, British Council just by National Theatre. Mm. Arrival time is 3 p.m. As I speak about um, some delegates from different African countries that have arrived at Accra already. So arrival is from 3, it will start at exactly 4 p.m. British Council event auditorium just by National Theatre here in Accra. Right, so what's to be expected tomorrow? So we're expecting um, intellectual discussions, we're expecting interactive sections, we are having speakers, five different speakers, who are going to touch on different areas of uh, the society. We're also going to give an opportunity for people to contribute their own ideas on what they think should make Africa a better continent. Right. Right? And, uh, you know, all over Africa, different countries are going different, to different issues. So we're having these people from these countries come together to sit and say, this is what we think can make our country get better. Mm -hmm. This is what we think can make our country get better. Then after that, we're going to have a resolution and uh, that is expected to be forwarded to, you know, a, 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 a specific African uh, president. To, to tell them that this is what we agreed on this event. Then after that, we move into the award session. 
okay. where we are going to honor these 20 young Africans right. to tell them, you know, keep up what you are doing. Mm. So who, uh, who and who can be there, who can attend? All right, so the event is actually free. It's an open event, uh, but normally what expected people, we sent out the Eventbrite uh, link for people to register. So if you don't mind, I can also drop my number so that people can send in their nomina I mean, their link so that we can reserve a seat for them. It's open for all, but if you want a certificate of attendance for the conference, it's 40 Ghana cities. Okay. That can be done at the, at, the, at, the, at the event, but it's actually an open event. But if you feel that you want a certificate of attendance and uh, other event uh, materials, that's what you're going to say this. Okay. But everyone is actually free to attend this event. It's free to attend this event. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Your final words before you go, Barry. My final word is that Africa is a great continent. Young people have the capacity, the mental capacity to do things if given the right opportunity. So let's all come out tomorrow. Let's come and hear people who are well uh, vast in their different areas of society. Let's come together and meet new people. Let's come together to see these 220 people that we are going to honor tomorrow as we keep working hard to make Africa a better place for all of us. And the good news is I'm part of the 20 that will be honoured. Exactly. 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 <laughs> all right, exactly. Barry, thank you so much thank for this. So much. And uh, thank you for being here. We'll see you thank tomorrow you. at this great event. His name is thank Comrade you. Barry Indu. He is a convener for Convergence of African Young Leaders and Awards. And tomorrow we'll honour 20 great ladies and gentlemen who are definitely doing a lot in Africa. And I'm definitely part of it. And I'm glad and I'm proud. It's not just me, but of course, the channel as well, that's Joy Prime TV. Thank you so much for Thank honoring you. us Thank tomorrow. You so we'll you. take a quick break. Coming up next is sports. And then we have Ellie Kem who will tell us about Pilolo. Do stay. Tavete, and this is Afromax. It's a journey across the entire continent into a variety of cultural work. We highlight the creative spirit in Africa and how it affects the design space from the history that defines us to the future that is waiting. Showing how culture transforms. History, culture, and heritage. It is for future generations. This show, we'll be talking to the movers, shakers, visionaries, and makers who embody the meaning of modern Africa. We get to the heart of African design philosophy to find out what makes creatives tick. With designers who are breaking boundaries and making waves internationally, join us as we seek out the continent's finest design innovation from interior and architecture, fashion, food, and the art. It's all on Afrimax.